Hey guys, Ritzy Roy here. I'm back after a while. I'm gonna be a little more quiet than usual, kind of lower energy right now because I'm currently dealing with COVID-19. Sadly, I finally lost my fight against avoiding this disease. It caught up to me eventually. I wore my mask every day, but I guess I just got unlucky. So enough on that. I want to get on our topic for today. Today, we are going to be talking about how to deal with defensive play and I guess defensive mashing, and just generally how to improve your offense because like getting in is really important especially if you play a character like Roy or something so what do i mean by like defensive play because like it's really uh general so basically what i'm talking about are people who are not committing to stuff and they're just basically waiting for you to run in and make a mistake i chose zss because like she's kind of like that's she's a quintessential defensive character in this game she has things like uh zare she has forward air which stops you from approaching forward and she has like really really good aim air to air and on top of that she has projectiles that make it so you kind of have to eventually move in on her but when you do get close to her the thing that makes defense really broken in ultimate is her frame did is good and she has good drift back on a lot of things so it's hard to punish what she does but she's really good at punishing what you do so there are some very important things i'm going to show us a replay of me fighting a zss some very important things you need to keep in mind in ultimate this is going to sound really weird this is not like melee or something everything in a weird way is technically punishable you just have to be in the right position to do it now defensive play is really really good because usually they are almost always setting themselves up to be in the position to punish any offensive options you do because just like defensive options offensive options are also um committal however just like how there's, oh, that's the wrong thing. Just like how there's like low committal defense, there's also low committal offense. And that's why I want to go over once I get to the CSS fight. Where is it? And like the main thing you're going to want to do when you're on the offensive side trying to get in is you want to mix up your um, committal offense with your non committal offense. Because there's a really huge difference between the two of them. And I kind of want to show you in this battle. Now, I am super rusty. <laughs> This COVID had me, I wasn't bedridden, but I was sleeping for a while. And then I was doing some stuff for school, you know, prom and stuff, having fun. So I kind of quit Smash for a little while, so bear with me here. <coughs> so against the ZSS, what I want to look for, well, this is not a good example, because the start, I kind of just was in her face. I don't want to run at her too much, and whenever I hit her, I know at low percent, a lot of my combos aren't true, so I'm going to hit her and bait her to do stuff. Now it's 60, which is like mid percent, around high-ish. I know a lot of my stuff is more true, so I might sometimes look for follow-ups, but for the most part, I'm not always going to do it. <clears throat> so basically, as you see here, I'm not running, I'm not just constantly dashing at her. When I go in, it's usually with like a, a jump, because a jump I can double jump out of, I can be reverse or do an aerial or something, and it's harder to punish and just always, always running up at her. So. I'm trying to mix in all of my different offensive options because one offensive option is insanely easy to punish, especially for ZSS when she's trying to defend out against you. That's what the first stock is mainly showing. I'm just mixing in how I'm moving forward. Like I'm ultimately moving forward, but I can't do it the same way because moving forward is punishable. Just each different way you move forward is punishable, uh, is punishable in different ways and it's your job to do it in different ways. There, I just did it with a, a side B. <laughs> Roy's amazing dancing blade. So I have the lead, so I'm looking for some early percent. There, I hit her and I didn't follow up because I knew my combo wasn't true, but I did follow up on those two fairs because I know at that percent, fair into fair is true, and I saw her DI wasn't that good on that first fair, so I can get a second follow up. Now here, we don't roll in. We hold shield, I drift back because I don't want to get hit, I be reverse to recover, and I'm just sitting. I'm waiting for her to do stuff because I know she's waiting for me to do something, you know? It's like, not cat and mouse, but I guess chicken. Who pulls the trigger first? That's kind of what it's like. Because if I just always pull the trigger first and she guesses, I'm done for. I I'll just get like ZSS comboed. Right here on my ledge, I'm walking for it. I'm trying to like F her, you know, poke her out a bit. Off stage, I just drift out, wait for her to do something. She doesn't hit me with anything. I couldn't punish that, but a really important thing about defensive play, or just ultimate in general, but it also applies for being defense, is that things can be punishable, but if you don't always like punish them, like you know, if you don't punish everything that's punishable, you sometimes can help them for. <laughs> 
you can sometimes help them form habits, which you like. To, we like habits on the offense. We love our habits. We we love those because those are those were extends our combos stuff. Whenever you see pros doing super long combos, it's usually because they're calling out habits and things. Or um, I guess they're mind gaming you. That 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 was just spaghetti. There, there was nothing like technical about that. <laughs> I just up threw her and looked for something. But throughout the beginning of this fight, I did not punish a lot of her really good moves because I wanted her to form habits and to think she was safe. Now on last stock, I noticed now that I wasn't punishing her aerials as much. She feels comfortable. She's throwing out an air and doing all this, which this is what I want. Now my job on offense is a lot easier. But the thing is, I don't even have to play offense here because I'm in the lead. But since I'm Roy, I still kind of got to try to walk forward a bit. So I'm, we're kind of just doing what we're doing right now. We're just playing basic neutral. No one's really has to walk in because I my character needs to walk in. But the position I'm in has me in a spot where I can just kind of annoy her and swing at her. And there we just finish her with back air. Pretty simple stuff. Because I can kind of help you with the ZSS matchup, but like that ZSS wasn't like you know the best example of it. She was just more of a good example of defense. I'm not saying she was a bad ZSS or anything, but that match wasn't the best example of how to do the ZSS matchup. Because Roy himself wins it, and that ZSS looked like they might have been a little newer to the character. So I wouldn't use this as a guide on how to beat that character specifically. Just mainly focus on what I was doing to get around the defensive options of the character. And remember, the key factors are, I'll just go and train mode and show you real quick. Cause I, I talked about the different ways you can move forward, but before we leave, I wanna show you what they look like. Cause there was a lot of stuff happening in that fight and you might not have caught all of them, but uh, let's go to the white stage. It'll be easier to see, especially cause I have an all black Roy skin pretty much. All black with highlights. Uh, it doesn't matter who the enemy is cause you're just looking at the movement options here. So here's what's important. Obviously, once this loads, <laughs> come on now. So you have your dashes. They're really good. They get you in really fast. And you're Roy. You have unreactable burst options out of dash, which is really scary. But if someone anticipates your dash, as you can tell, there's some lag before you can pull up shield. So that's kind of the weakness to that. And you can't exactly change direction too fast out of dash. So that's one way you can move forward. Dash is way more complex than that, and it also gives you different texts like slingshot and stuff, but that's just the quintessential, the basics of dash, which I want you to know. The second thing you have for getting in, which is common, is your jump. Now, jump is actually, this is a platform fighter, so obviously it's good, but jump has a lot of benefits to it. One of them being that you can double jump out of it, you can change the heights of it, you can change your drift, which changes the speed in which you approach. You can jump forward, then jump back. There's just a lot of mix on jump. And on top of all that amazing mobility it gives you, you get access to your aerials, which for a lot of offensive characters, usually their aerials are better than their, um, what's it called? The grounded normals, because they're good for approaching. Like if Roy, he gets Nair, he gets, um, if I do run up short hop Nair, that's a different approach option, just run up jab or something. Or I can also mix it up by full hop fair. Like I get so many different ranges of motion when I jump and I get access to my best normals. So usually when you look at pros, they are short hopping and stuff. And oh yeah, also you can do things like empty hops too. So jump is just flexible. That's why like at high level play, you see jump and dash mixing a lot. They're, they're really useful with one another. And then finally, the thing that's a little experimental, you'll see Mars do it sometimes and it's not super common. I do it every now and then, it's walking. So walking, I guess, imagine diet dash. Like you see, I'm moving forward. I don't get unreactable options, but I do get to move forward and close some space. But the benefit of this diet dash is that I can pull up shield instantly and I can dash out of it instantly. There's no lag on it. So if I'm like trying to close distance, actually, I think I might have did it against her a bit. Sometimes I'll walk because like I know it's not me trying to be disrespectful. It's literally the fact that walk moves me forward, but gives me the ability to pull up shield instantly. Sometimes you can even bait someone to like swing on you and try to stop your approach by just walking and holding shield because they're going to expect you to dash up shield, which has so much lag. Because a big thing about defense and ultimate, I know because I've been picking up DSS lately, is calling out dashes. That's like really important about this game. So if you mix in the walk, you might be able to beat someone who's trying to call out your dash. And I think 
for the most part without going too deep into it those are like the main offensive tools for being defense remember mix them up completely adapt as you're going and don't do the same thing over and over again because everything in ultimate is punishable if you're in the right position to do it or if you know it's coming while in the right position i hope this helps you guys out good luck against defensive characters